Let's do a couple more examples so I can show you how this works. Uh, this is the sulfate ion, and our process is draw a Lewis structure, assess how many electron groups are around the central atom, draw its shape or understand its shape, and then draw dipoles. So here for sulfur, we have six valence electrons. Uh, it goes in through the whole process. Four times six for oxygen plus two. If we add that up, that'll be 32 electrons for our Lewis structure. We're going to put our sulfur in the center because it is less electronegative. We're going to put all of the oxygens around it. And we are then going to sprinkle our valence electrons around the outside. I have two, four, six. This oxygen now has an octet. Oh, sorry, I, I keep track total. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Double checking, everything has an octet. Good, put my brackets around it and the charge. That is a finished Lewis structure for sulfate. Now, I can see that sulfur has four, elect four electron groups around it. This is going to be electron geometry tetrahedral. Bond angle, 109.5. And it's a perfect 109.5 because all of the atoms here, there's no electron pairs around the central atom. And at this point, we could say, well, sulfur has all things that are exactly the same around it. That's our first guiding principle. This must be nonpolar. Although quickly, when we get to what's coming up, we would just say, even though this is nonpolar, well, but let's do it. So sulfur, three different ones going down draw the dipoles that I will ask you to do for this there we go all four of the all three of those are below the center of the S good and um, so all of these dipoles exactly cancel so it has no dipole but in the end it's an ion and ions are in their own special category. So, it is, yes, all the dipoles exactly cancel. We can think of this as nonpolar. Um, however, the overriding thing that we will see when we think of sulfate is ion or ionic. And I will let you do analyses for these two. And in fact, for all five of these, and please put them in your lecture outline notes. And if you have any questions, let me know.